Hello, hello everyone. My name is Kira Vaku, and I am your host and your voice for the voice. Welcome, welcome to the Void of Voices. Voices of the Void. Yapping Kira. Kira Yapping Sessions. I don't know the name yet. Some guys add, write down some good names for me to put it in there, okay? <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. Usually, I always um, do some some of my uh, update stuff, like what kinds what kinds of things I'm doing at the moment, and what kinds of plan I have for my stream, for my video content, and that yeah, that stuff. So, um, I my OBS update or OBS overhaul is kind of like tiny bit on pause because um, little Kira here needs bill to pay. So, um, I decided to early launch my uh kire ych shop uh, beta shop it's called artista cafe stream uh it's basically um while in that stream i will be either creating a new ych base or um creating a ych sample uh for people to see and then also while at the same time if anyone are interesting at the ych i'm doing it on or like the offer i have on top of my head actually yes it does on it is on top of my head so you guys can so like see uh see what kind of like YCH I can offer and then you can order it live I would say it again live in my stream first condition is that you have to chat with me a little bit of course you need to know me as a person first is it <laughs> if you want to hand in your face for me to draw you in and I also have to know you so I can add a little bit of easter egg reference stuff, this and that, yeah, that stuff from the conversation we have. So the more I know you, the better like uh, sentimental art uh, work I can add into stuff that lets you feel a little bit like, you know, much more emotion into the artwork. Yes, 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 yes. Um, if you guys do not know what YCH means, um, YCH is technically is just a uh, basic artwork with a you know general general theme and scope is already set up so i would draw a dummy in that environment and or maybe like in a certain pose or they doing some certain stuff this and that when i say dummy characters it's basically like a uh, mannequin uh those kind of like faceless like ma mannequin like in there in that scene and then you see you like that scene and then you'll be like Oh, I want to commission you uh, by putting my face in that character's this basic or like edit a little bit to you know like match along with the character theme and stuff. It's like I say like uh, make it simple like um, I'm drawing like a dummy character's fishing and then you want to change it the uh, you like the pose but not the fishing stuff so you 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 want the pose but uh, change a fishing into like uh, you holding a rifle or something or you're holding a sword or something uh, like those kind of things I can accommodate at least to that degree but not like an entire post change stuff so quite a lot of things with set stone and also depends on uh, my composition with you I might add or like um, adjust some stuff just to match up either your theme or some things that you like to do, your own hobby, your personal skill, uh, something like a gimmick you have in your stream, something like that. And of course, of course, some people already like are already interested in it, but sadly I'm going to tell you, you can only order it live. So you can't DM me for like the commission stuff. And another thing is, um, yim, yim, yim. so far at the moment, I just offering this to VTuber because I don't really have the skill to draw like a real life faces. Uh, maybe I can convert, if you are a streamer, you are interested in it, you, I can kind of convert you into a much more cartoonish form, but finger crossed, I might not be able to do it properly. <laughs> so yeah, now currently offer is generally, if you are a VTuber, you are in luck. <laughs> and to all some other stuff, um, here is the YCH I already have been made. Um, currently I got three. Two is already on the shelf and the third one is still under like um the sample is still under making so i'm not going to launch that yet um 
The first one is the peeking out from the wall. What in the? <laughs> Can what in the anything? Um, it's basically you peek out from the wall or maybe uh, something that represents your chat, maybe a mascot, maybe a literally a chat window head. So like peek out from the wall and then they see some um, some weird ass stuff is happening in your stream. So they can spam that emote and be like, what the? <laughs> Or they see some disturbing stuff and then they'll be like, what the? <laughs> so it's basically just like that. That That is the way to use the email. But if the chat is like smart enough to have their own interpretations, uh, they can use it in their own way too. Really depends. Really depends. If you, Especially when you have a thing going on with your stream, like being very yabai or very sus, I can, add, I can edit it a little bit. Or like uh, your chat is being down bad, I can also add into that like disgusting. What? <laughs> like peeking out the peeking out the wall, like what? <laughs> Something like that. And the second one, um, it's not really emote friendly, nor profile picture friendly because I, I realized that because the detail added to it is tiny, a little bit too much. So it end up if you zoom it out, you can't really see too much things. This is where the skill come from. If you really want to make an emote, you really have to be aware of the spacing and the detail you're going to add into the emote. Uh, also, another reason why most emote looks a little bit uh, on the basic, uh, on the coloring side, then there's no gradient and this and that, yeah, yeah, or like very detailed, like um, accessory for the characters, only have like minimum, like something enough to like reference your character. Uh, basically, it's because emote is small as heck. <laughs> You can't actually see a lot of things, sadly. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is something like not really is a hindsight. It, this is basically uh, what I call a chibi on a pedestal. Put your chibi on a pedestal. So it's going to I'm going to draw a stage that uh, align with either your characters or your. Um, character theme, lord, concept, you know, stuff like that. Um, or your stream, uh, and then the, your chibi will display your skill or like something that you play or something you oftenly do or something like the, you know, the running gag you always have in your stream, stuff like that. So it's like representing you, like displaying it out on a, uh, on a stage, on a mini chibi stage with your chibi form. I already have like three sample like already make it so you guys can review from the sample and yeah it's, it's, it's general like that I know I know it doesn't really rep represent the YC hash itself because I have this thing I like I say the more I know you the more I can draw you so the more stuff I can add into it um, that's a benefit of like you know the more you chat with me uh, the better that I can add stuff into your uh, into your artwork. This is why I need uh, people come into my stream live and have a little bit fun chat with me. The more I understand or know you, the more I be able to like do some creative stuff into the artwork. Else, you're just going to be like that YCH standing there doing nothing. <laughs> and yeah, 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 that would be most of the stuff I can talk about in my um here update sessions onward to the yapping stuff okay to what um blah, 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 blah. <laughs> sorry um today yapping topic is a little bit about uh, on the special side i saw this very interesting article uh while i'm scrolling to my facebook um i use facebook personally but uh when i'm doing like uh, advertisement stuff i actually using uh twitter to actually do it it's it's, it's a weird relationship <laughs> Facebook for the meme. Ex uh, I, I hate saying it sometimes. Um, Twitter. Yes, because I see this word, I, I decided to say that. I'm like, gosh dang it. Um, either way, um, tw for Twitter, I will always do a little bit more on the, you know, like the, my, my VTuber thing. I will always like do, do my VTuber thing on my Twitter. Personal stuff on Facebook. Uh, but I saw this like very interesting article. She demands Honda and iPhone. <laughs> Malaysian man with 2k now I can tell you 2k is a very um, minimum graduate salary I'm not kidding this is basically a minimum graduate salary um, sometimes it can be it can be even lower 
than 2k uh if you then <laughs> then get it into a good company <laughs> but yeah like this is quite a standard salary starting up salary that you can have of course uh depends on you are graduate or diploma graduate or degree graduate uh your growth of this 2k will be fast or slow really depends on it and sometimes like you can literally work in five years your salary is still like this it's, it's it's a sad state sometimes yeah but yeah the salary ends up with a loan to fulfill girlfriend's desire i was like holy heck this guy is simping <laughs> this guy is simping hard but i can't blame him and sometimes because like uh when you have that girlfriend boyfriend filters toward your partner is it can be blinding <laughs> But yeah, like, um, dude, either you have to run away or she have to, uh, she, like, you, you have to cut loose or you have to slap yourself for not doing math good enough. Always earn the money. Uh, no, no, always spend the money that you can earn it back. <laughs> not spend the money you can never earn it back. <laughs> Unless you're super confident. Like, you literally have to loan to fulfill stuff. Uh, are you guys planning to marry or something? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, like even loan stuff to like organize the marriages. It's a little bit... Over, <laughs> you know? <laughs> the thing like... Either is the girl doesn't know how to do math or the dude is just plain stupid. I think now... This one is basically like both party. Oh, um, let's get into um, the article and stuff. Uh, just look at this. <laughs> Illustration purpose only. Holy shit, iPhone is expensive. And the first thing I see is iPhone 15 Pro. <laughs> and the engagement. Oh, it is like for like uh, wedding stuff. Holy moly. So it's um, love often let us down. Uh, uh, what's with the grammar? Uh, for me, I should write Love often led us down to an unexpected path And for one young Malaysian man It meant taking a significant financial leap To meet his girlfriend ex an expectation Now, here's uh, a thing that I want to add on to it If you have a high maintenance um, High maintenance like partner can it be boy? Can it be girl? Can it be anyone? Can even be your parents? Can even be your like the brother you take caring of? Like, would you dare enough to take a financial leap by borrowing a bunch of like a loan just to fulfill their extravagant expectations? Basically, the high maintenance, high maintenance need. For me, I was like, I, I, I would hit the calculator first. Like, if, if I can't earn that money, I won't spend that money, you know? If I if I really can't earn, then why should I? And then, like, that other party should also know better that I cannot earn that that level of stuff. Um, and at least they have to do some number crunching too. Not just, not, not just a, you know, the one who, like, used the money going to, like, um, crunch the numbers like the spender is also going to crunch the number properly in order to like you know have both party like have like an equal turn like working on uh, if the girls herself is also like working and then still need a shit tons of stuff from the guy stuff unless that guy is like super wealthy but looking at this article i don't think that guy is wealthy or not <laughs> at all <laughs> that that is that is something to um I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to say. Let's 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 get the full story first. Let's get the full story first. Never judge everything by the title itself. Okay. Okay. Recently, he opened up anonymous. Uh, opened up anonymously about the, his struggle on pop on a popular platform, revealing the pressure of he faced to satisfy his girlfriend's desire for Honda. Uh, which Honda? Actually, I'm not a car guy, uh, so I do not know how expensive Honda is, but maybe it's the most expensive branch she wants? Um, I, I don't know. I, 
I already don't know about this. <laughs> and the latest like iPhone 15 Pro. This is the only thing that I know that is like hell expensive. So expensive to a point that you might have to like have like an installment plan for like maybe like five years with like maybe always siphoning out like maybe 500 to 600 ringgit and you still have to like install half the installment for like five six years for it <laughs> uh, it's basically a, a single a single like um sentence again or a single word can call out iphone in malaysia is like stupidly expensive wait it's not a single word it's a phrase at this point <laughs> Sorry, I'm also bad at math. I guess men is just bad at math. <laughs> and an engagement ring. Here's the thing. Nowadays and age. Are you guys still believe in like time expensive diamond engagement ring? Just just give me a um just give me a a straw to grasp on like does people still um, believe in quite a lot of like um those like diamond industry crap <laughs> for me it's diamond industry crap but yeah it's it's a sentimental like if you really want an engagement ring any price long as it looks like an engagement ring it's fine right or you, you don't want a meaning, you want to flex how much you actually spend on this engagement ring. If it's like that, then like, holy shit, I think you have some like, um, materialism, um, issues. Go. Or guy. Really depends, really depends. Okay, imagine a guy requests like a very expensive engagement ring <laughs> for, from the girlfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> he even had to take a loan for it. Well. If it's for marriage stuff, this is like the down payment for the marriage thing. Um, it's very really difficult to say on it. Like, usually when it comes to marriage stuff, um, both parties will agree like when they are financial enough, and then they'll do the marriage. If they're not financial enough, I know a lot of people, they, they literally did not like hell like a you know, like those kind of expensive like uh, marriage that they need to invite a lot of people to do a dinner or like a very expensive wedding and stuff like that. They, they will still take like wedding photo and stuff, but um, the engagement stuff, they just go to like the government thingy and then sign the paper and then just done, be done with it. So there is a way for you not to spend a lot of money for it. So unless she demands to have this level, at least, if they don't want to spend like on dinner and stuff, then you guys at least need to save up money for it before you guys need to start wedding. Unless it's a shotgun wedding, or maybe um maybe that guy accidentally knock her up or something like I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. Again, do not spend what you can't earn. This story was shared anonymous anonymous anonymously on. Twitter platform. I refuse to suck. I refuse to call it that. You want you want to kite me to say this? Gosh dang it! Despite earn a modest two thousand ringgit, bro. If I need to say like, if I need to convert this into American dollar, it's not even five hundred dollar per month, and he have to spend more than five hundred dollar per month. <laughs> it, uh, it's basically I earn two thousand ringgit. Uh, just go to the conversion. You 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 find like the conversion rate of like um dollar to um ringgit. Um, two thousand ringgit is not really that much. It's only enough for you to live just by. If you have to pay rent for your um rent for your houses, or if you own your house, then you kind of like lucky. Um, if you don't, you have to pay for the rent, pay for the electricity bill, pay for the water bill, and then afterward you still have to pay for your own food, pay for your own food, pay for your gas, and pay for your car um, insurance stuff, and pay for your car, like, you have to save up enough, at least, like, if something happened to your car, you still have to pay for the car, 
by the time of the calculation, you would only have 50 ringgit ish extra. That that would already be a lot to spend on your personal need. <laughs> Man, we, if if you learn if you earn like two thousand per month and you don't even have the privilege to buy a game unless they're on sales or a computer in fact <laughs> uh, I feel sad for this man <laughs> but yeah it, I'm not sure at this point it's like he did it to himself or like yeah he got way too pressured by the girlfriend or something like that at this point like I, I, I don't know which to and you know what I remain neutral on this I think both is stupid yes <laughs> His girlfriend insists on engagementing a Honda along with the latest iPhone. Um, if you guys are going to plan like the wedding and everything, at least cancel one of the thing. <laughs> it's just way too expensive. I think iPhone itself is more expensive than Honda these days. <laughs> like a secondhand Honda is like cheaper than iPhone. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> The young man explained that his girlfriend initially requested on the iPhone, but he went and offered more affordable iPhone 30. He did want to give, like he he tried, he tried, he tried, but she insists on like the pricey iPhone 15 Pro, and not just iPhone 15. She need the Pro, which when you say Pro, uh, it's a weird thing when it comes to Apple stuff. Like when they when they add a Pro into it, it just like a few inch into the phone. And then it have like a 2000 markup. <laughs> I'm not sure like how expensive it is. Maybe I'll just add it into the edit. Who knows? Yeah, you can you can take a look at this. Like how much is this is this thing in like ring it? Um, holy heck. <laughs> I say holy heck uh, first because I know it's going to be expensive. <laughs> um. Feeling like, uh, feeling obligated to please her, uh, he resorted to taking a loan, a decision that weighed heavily on his finance and future stability. Bruh! You know, if you really want to borrow, at least do this thing. Do you have friend, bruh? At least, like, you say, like, this is an emergency wedding fund, you know? Uh, talk to some bro, uh, bro. They normally I can tell you if you have bro friend, they they will like at least um, sponsor you a hundred dollar, a uh, hundred ringgit or something. You know, like if you get, say like I'm doing like this, like I I have to buy this like iPhone 15 Pro, bro. By my, uh, it's like for your, uh, it's it's for like um, it's for your um future sister-in-law, you know, bro. <laughs> Friends, 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 and then like um, uh, and then they'll be like, "All right, all right, what's your installment plan? Like, how much is it? I can at least like help you sponsor like ten ringgit per month of installment plan if you really want to do it." Uh, yeah, that that way actually does help if you are smart enough. This is why I say like this is like both party fault because the dude is not smart enough and just go full simping mode. And then the girls is, doesn't know math enough to understand like how math works. <laughs> like money is not money is not magic. You can't just money money home and then it just like <laughs> come out out of nowhere. Like if you have a bro at that level, at least like ten ringgit to spare per month. Like maybe maybe like if if my friends um call me that call me for that. Maybe I'll try at least like a 10 ringgit um, installment support, you know? Uh, I guess this guy like flashed so many people to the point he doesn't have friend anymore, I guess? Like, how do you not tell that to your friend? To enough that your friends is like trying, your, trying their best to slap the shit out of you to the point you wake up that Wake up, bro! <laughs> why are you- Why are you taking a loan for this kind of shit? <laughs> you know? But yeah, the phone wise, like, I, I, again, like, usually people think like phone is like easy to like do this and that, but again, iPhone is expensive. And 
to the point that you literally like in Malaysia I think like not lots of people even they earn like uh, 4,000 or 5,000 a month not even them are good, can have the ability to like sort of like upfront pay for the phone everyone I think like, almost quite a lot of people in Malaysia if they want to buy an iPhone they will like pay the installment for it why? because they don't really have the ability to afford that freaking phone <laughs> like on one go like they I, like I say again like use what you can earn a lot of people pay for installment it's like they, they technically already calculated it like yeah under this like I earn this much and it's siphoned this much from me this like uh, so it should work and then yeah maybe maybe you can try to do it like this guy is literally like taking out loan for like is it like uh, I, I I really don't know at this point like is, is it like credit card loan or just like bank loan hope it's not loan shark well I don't think it's loan shark at this point but still uh, does loan shark still exist I'm not sure But again, like, feel obligated to please her. Like, bro, you should, you should talk this out with your friend when you want to do, like, big spending. You know? That's what bro for, slapping the shit out of you. And he resort to taking out a loan and this decision wait for his, like, entire, like, financial and future life. <sighs> Reading this makes me tired. <laughs> Make my soul tired. It's frustrating to have a girlfriend like this, but... What can I do? The family already knows her. He lamented in this post. I think like your family knows her. Uh doesn't do jack shit, you know? Like, does your family really loves her? Like if it is. Here's the thing, I I feel like your your girlfriend like will be understanding if you just talk. This I think this is like the major communication failure. Like the dude didn't. Uh, I feel like the dude didn't talk to his friend, nor to to a girlfriend, uh, to his girlfriend. You know, um, enough to like do this. And then the girl herself did not talk to her friend enough to have like uh, the friend that slapped the shit out of her enough to <laughs> wake her up. Like, no, this is not something that your boyfriend can afford. You know. <laughs> At this day and age, I, I feel like a lot of people are at least like financially smart at this point. Unless um unless they're just like living in the twenties, they, they don't really have any like financial knowledge, I guess. Well then then like the, the family need to educate them on like their financial um uh, you know like financial knowledge a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, this post uh, gonna over like 400k. I don't even get that much view. <laughs> Hundreds of com comments from netizens <laughs> who share their thoughts on the matter. Yes, I am also doing that too. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll I'll help you translate this. Love really is blind. Makes you stupid. <laughs> oh wait, they already have a translation for this. <laughs> But you shouldn't be stupid for it. <laughs> ah, if she's like this before marriage. I wonder what kind of wife material she would be. You know? Think carefully, bro. That this is what will happen if you talk to your bro. They will give you all this common enough to let you realize that holy shit, I'm stepping into some landmine. <laughs> This is a flag that you you do not want to step on. <laughs> and then like uh, leave her, blah blah blah, yeah the other stuff. Like again, like if you guys like um been together for a while, just talk to each other. Like leaving someone is like uh, a very like um drastic choice unless the, uh, she's an actual like uh unless the guy is like a very like. Um, weird guy or like the girls is the actual PRG and and like everyone sees it and either like telling the girl to leave him or like the guy to leave her like then then if like 9 out of 10 people tell you that like in real life that know you both 
then you might have to kind of consider. <laughs> but if it's just people from internet, nah, nah, people don't know everything. You can kind of listen to some that if there's some good advice, but most of the thing like this one, um, you don't you don't really have to um, take on it that much. Um, you know. <laughs> What's that thought? Join the conversation. Here's the blah blah blah. Yeah, the other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, that is the end of the story. Uh, not not too much. I did somehow spend like twenty minutes just talking about it. On holy, holy moly, smoking and holding. Um, yeah. Be smart, my pal. And so go do some math, go. <laughs> Come into reality. You know. Just, just, just face the reality a little bit. No one earning 2k per month that can spend that kind of money, even with loan. Like seriously, even you borrow money, you won't be able to like spend this much. Like, man, this dude is stupid. <laughs> uh, I think both parties have fault at this point. Again, remain neutral. Remain neutral. Remain neutral. <laughs> okay, moving up along. Today, VEP interest. Um, yesterday, or when I recorded this uh, day, the day I recording this yesterday. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit confusing. Um, just say this week, I actually have a collab uh, with Fluffy Jam. Um, to be honest, I have, do not know how to uh, describe a person. Just, just going to. I, I have trouble describing persons. To be honest, but either way, just say like um, a cute little fluffy and also rock as hard as a gem. Wait, that sounds weird. Um, um, um. Let me, let me think about it. Okay, um, Fluffy Jam, our kind little healer. Hey, Fluffy Jam, our kind little girl, and with MVP. Fluffy Jam, I do not want to say anything kind of sound weird, so I decided to say this thing instead of like saying, like, describing what she likes. <laughs> hey. Fluffy yet rock hard VTuber. <laughs> Wait, that sounds weird again. <laughs> you know what? Just stick with that. <laughs> uh, she is participating and uh, holding a charity stream that is called a Summerslam. That is a charity stream about like um, earning charity money for a donation for a. I forgot which foundations. Um, you guys will see you from here. I have very bad memory to remember name name and stuff, but yeah, um, it's from this foundations, and they are their mission is mainly to get enough um, charity money to buy summer game, summer sales game maybe, or just buy video game or console or some stuff like that to offer to sick children in the hospital. So yeah, it's a noble, uh, it's a noble mission. So um, she's still currently running quite a few more days of campaign about it. So if anyone uh, watch this video and have a desire to help these children, do come into her stream and give give some donation from it. Uh, uh, we did a collab on Gothic Phone last time, and it's of course it's uh, pretty fun. I went a little bit um, old bored with my drawing, <laughs> but uh, yeah, generally we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, pay attention to the stream, and if you guys are still in time for doing uh, some donations, remember do donate some money to that, uh, to that cause. It's a very noble cause because trust me, I I, I like stay in the hospital for is very boring over there. If my switch is, does not exist and I can't play in there. Holy heck, it's just going to be very boring staring at the ceiling forever, so... Yeah, uh, just just try to help some some people. 
Today, interesting VTuber stuff. I will mention a few one. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, today, or like this way, Kriu. No, not the Street Fighter Kriu. The other Kriu, the space fact witch. Um, she is holding a PNG requirement to do a cuddle or hug. For me, I actually put myself in it too, but. Yeah, be careful, my hair will poke you. <laughs> but either way, yep, 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 yep. And on another news is... Raik from Raikana. Big 30th birthday. Oh. Same. Same. I'm old, I know. And I also know too, I'm also old. <laughs> and 3 years of affiliations and maybe 1k follower if we can get there. So go and help him to reach his 1k follower. If you guys really want it, um, just like Twitch TV, uh, twitch.tv right now. If you guys can't actually read it, I will put it up in the description below. So anyone can kind of like, you know, want to pay him a visit, give him a like, this and that, yada yada stuff. You know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> and final random VTuber news. Tigras, the slime VTuber, definitely does not affiliate to, to any slime anime coming out from the recent show. <laughs> um, he's finally back from his tiny hiatus and back to streaming again. And the stream he started on at first is just Baby in Yellow and um, Elden Ring. Now, the later on, he will do his Still Wakes the Deep games. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I, I botched the everything but yeah um he changed his like uh normal streaming time is not uh in the dead of night uh it's not uh in the dead of night of my time anymore it's like the dead dead of night of my time <laughs> but yeah but yeah um generally yeah welcome back pig welcome back so onward to the next one the Burning question from the comment sections. To be honest, I don't really have a, any people asking me any burning questions for the comment section, so I'll just answer some of the questions that my friend DM me instead. So, uh, last video I put out that I talk about my medical conditions, and then he did ask this one question if my issues have been hindering me, and also like, um, Katiao me, or in a way to say like, um, bothering me so much. Why don't I uh, register as a disabled person then? Uh, uh, register as a disabled, uh, you, you know, you know that thing. Actually, a doctor did offer me that they can write a letter for me to register as a OKU, which is a Malaysian version of a disabled person. But again, like, uh, like I say, like. For one, it's a hassle because they have to give like a very long uh, period of amount, amount of time to like observe me to actually give me the green luck that I am a disabled person because again like they, they have a very like um, different country have different screening method so um, and also they, they scale the um, disability in a variety of different way um, in Malaysia if actually I uh, register as OKU I don't get any benefit. Like some people might think, like, oh, you're disabled, you register for it, and then you get the you get like monthly like uh, welfare paycheck. Then done. Nah, nah, nah. That there's no something. Uh, there's no such thing exists to be honest. Unless you really are that bad enough that you have trouble control. Uh, you know, like um, unable to live properly, unable to take care of yourself, unable to work. To that level, then yes, you get a minimum amount of benefit uh, for being a disabled. But you kind of can walk and talk and kind of still works in some sense. You don't get anything. <laughs> um, like the best case scenario that I can have, even I register as one, is just I have the card. When I talk about it, I can show to to people and say, "Nah, I actually I disabled." <laughs> or another one is to get the disabled parking privilege. And again, I can walk, I can talk, I can technically functioning fine. It's just having trouble to focus and works. Uh, 
that is not really a big excuse to take over the freaking parking lot for disabled people who actually need to use it. So register as one is just completely useless. Like even if I want to argue as being one, because my uh, the symptom everything at all is technically fully invisible. So you can't actually seize it until like I, I can't walk properly and that I won't really say uh, rarely happens, sometimes happens, but I know how to recover from it. So it's not, it's not like, um, you know, like it, it's, it's a very complex issues, but either way, even I have it. A guy missing a finger, like, it's, it's, it's like how society works, like, when it comes to disability, people would see, like, visible struggle easier than internal struggle. So, mine thinks is internal struggle, they, unless they have a super x-ray eye, and then they have, like, high in medical knowledge, they can actually know that I'm struggling, uh, I'm struggling, but on surface, I'm, I'm just fine. Like, if you see a guy who's missing a leg, you would have, like, I won't really say related to it, but more sympathetic to it. More than a guy who struggle like exterior looking fine, but inter interiorly like not look not act actually is not that fine. <laughs> so in a way, even I am a I am a registered disabled person. It would be like a guy missing a finger outrank me in like um disability like uh, discussions. <laughs> like I said last time, like really. A guy missing a finger can literally outrank me because visibly he is missing a finger. While me, I just, um, in a way, complaining. Yes, it doesn't do. <laughs> it, like depends on the scaling. It doesn't. It, it doesn't even compare. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's some things that. Yeah, a lot of people like in my state will struggles. But either way, yeah. I guess that's will be all. Thank you very much for watching and as always, stay healthy, stay safe. Until next time, stay tuned on the next talk show. Bye bye.